You know me, I'm your conscience, your rationality, your common sense. I make sure you stay on the straight and narrow, try to keep your mind from wandering to more unsavory places. It's just what I do, and I've been doing it fine up until now. Recently, though, things have started to change. They were a rarity at first. The dreams, I mean. They happen maybe once every couple of weeks at most, and they were a lot tamer back then. At first they only centered around one person, but they changed from dream to dream. In the first few, they had no distinguishable features, but after a couple months, they had your classmates' eyes or wore the clothes your coworker had worn that day you had spilled coffee. Soon, more people joined them down there in the dark. The number grew and grew until the sounds became deafening, all of them terrified, all of them in agony, dying and screaming. You, however, were smiling and laughing the whole time. I dealt with the dreams the only way I knew how. I donned the face of something you feared, a clown, a monster, death. They all work just as well, and I chase you. It would scare you so much that it would stop the other dream. But now, you don't remember the other dream, do you? All you remember is the recurring nightmare. So you try to stop it. Tried to stop me. You saw psychiatrists and went to Google each time you woke up in the early hours, asking why you have these nightmares almost every night and how you can stop them. It looks like they've helped, and you see it as a great achievement but all you've done is shut down your mind's defense system. I tried to keep you on the straight and narrow, I really did. You're not scared of me anymore, though. Last night, for the first time, you stopped running and turned to face me. And you laughed. 